assalamu alaikum mr mohan rahim uh today we will discuss simple thermal analysis using semi scale it's an online software you can do different simulations from this software that's a cloud based online software you can browse its different simulations in its website we have different applications even you browse this website you found it numerous application of the software in different application like architecture electronic thermal machines one and the the best thing is that uh, the project people are doing it's open to public so even if you are doing the free version of semiscale your project is publicly open you can learn from that public projects and utilize it in your own uh, research work or any uh, product development work i personally use this software for different companies uh, for their ap analysis one of them is uh, for an example i've done structure work of solar by using this software uh, i've done cad model then simulated calculated its factor of safety its factor of safety is around 5 and then we have fabricated this structure i also done have done uh, some professional work in uh, agp pharma for example This, this is the final report i have done the analysis of the full process uh, it's a very long truss around 500 square 500 uh, bit truss for transporting different goods so this software can be utilized for commercial purpose as well just i showed you in some basic example uh, so now come towards the software uh, first of all, you have to make a new project and by making a new project, you can select different uh, simulations application like FA analysis. I just shown in the this object. And yes, uh, first of all, in for the simulation, you have to upload the geometry and even for the geometry, you can have a different options. You can directly uh, like for you can add upload any CAD. Uh, a model from these software solid x nx Creo, and so on it supports even autocad, autocad models as well and you can make uh, models from one shape here i also show how you can make a simple cad model in one shape that is included in the same scale so this is the one shape you can create account and uh, create any objects okay and it's a very user friendly the gui is very simple and basic for example you can make a different objects first you have to make a sketch and for a sketch you have to select the plane for example i select this plane then make an object a sketch and then extrude it make different sketching tools as well okay like this example here, I'm just doing simple thermal analysis of this uh, square box. So I created two different entities of solid objects. One is the heater and one is the heat sink. Okay, it's aluminum, it's a copper. So once you upload it or directly import it from the one shape, like for example, my account is already signed in this one shape. So I can directly import object from this. You can in this way okay you can directly import it okay once you import it the scad model now you have to select the contact these two are bonded together there is no gap you have to make bonded as well because if you don't make bonded material the, the simulation will not run it skips error okay <sighs> okay and even in the simulation you have different things like incompressible incompressible subsonic so and do we have you have different simulation pattern for f analysis you can select this static for dynamic analysis you can select this for drop test or any for example of this mobile for currently i'm doing we are doing heat transfer analysis you can also do thermomic analysis harmonic analysis frequency analysis as well okay so it's a variety of simulations this software game Oh, so currently we have selected this heat transfer once the geometry is selected it's bonded now you have to select the material you can create material by a simple any you can take any default material 
if the material is not available in, in this, you can select any closed material and change its properties in this way. Like, okay, so you once the material is selected, now you have to select the part. Okay, so this is uh, aluminum. So I selected this part, this part. I send, I assign this, okay. The, so bottom part is copper. Yes, the bottom is part is aluminium and the top part is this part changes and the top part is copper. So you can select this object from the material by adding material over here. After that, you have this is thermal analysis. So already there's an initial condition. We have a temperature and after that you have to select the boundary condition. For example, the top part is copper. Uh, this is selected as a heater. So I just add this value with 500 degrees centigrade you can also select the different you can use different boundary condition for example of fixed temperature cycle symmetry sulfate heat flux convective heat flux so on so currently i'm doing thermal uh, conduction analysis so i just selected the fixed temperature of a copper over here and for the aluminium base we have selected temperature 20 degrees centigrade even in the heat transfer simulation, you can also select transient or steady state as well. Okay. So after and uh, after selecting the boundary conditions, now you need to do the mesh of the cat object. I already done this mesh. Uh, the parameter is auto default selected, but once you are pro in the simulation, you can change up to your requirement as well. And even if you have a closed channel or more refined parts in the solid object you can make refinement as well for the region refinement okay after this mashing you can do the simulations run by simple by this uh, i already run the simulations so these are the results this all yes so in the simulation run you have post process results you can also download download this result as well uh, like by clicking this you get the values or result of your simulation so here we have a simulations uh, results over here uh, the top layer is 500 and we have a vertical uh, profile of a temperature in the aluminum body okay and you can also record its different forms or different values and different uh so by moving its parts and for the presentation for the your results and you can also select different cutting plane iso volume iso surface as well so this is a short tutorial i hope you understand by this tutorial and do changes or make thermal analysis for your application as well thank you